CurseForge. How can you download the app, use it for mods, use it for mod packs? In this video, we're going to show you how to do everything. And the first thing you want to do is go to the second link in the description down below. This will take you to our text guide for getting CurseForge. And once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on the download CurseForge button to be taken to the official CurseForge download page. Once you're here, you want to go ahead and click download standalone, and that will go ahead and start the download of the installer for CurseForge. Once it's downloaded, you may need to keep or save it. You can minimize your browser, and we want to move it to our desktop. Most likely, it's going to be in your downloads folder. By the way, I'm just moving it to the desktop just so it's easier for this video. Once it's here, double click on it, and CurseForge is going to install like any other program or application. You just open up an installer, click next, then you want to make sure you've read and accepted the terms. Click next, and it's going to install CurseForge. It's that simple. While this is installing, how about a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh, to start your very own Minecraft server running a CurseForge mod pack. It's super easy to install CurseForge mod pack at Simple Game Hosting. Just literally purchase your server, click on the mod pack installer, select the mod pack, and click install. It's that quick, it's that easy, and you'll be playing your Minecraft mod pack with your friends in just a few minutes. On top of that, you can easily add mods, plugins, or even run a vanilla server with Simple Game Hosting. Truthfully, the options are endless, but no matter what, if you want to get a server, whether it's with CurseForge or any other type of Minecraft server, go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh, to start your server with mod packs the simple way. Nevertheless, CurseForge is now open. Once it's done installing, it will open automatically, and if it doesn't, you'll have a CurseForge basically shortcut that you can click on your desktop to get the app open. Now once you're here, you want to click on Minecraft, and then you can go ahead and just select Standard and click Continue. It's now going to get Minecraft ready, and then once it is, you're good to go. Now first things first, let's talk about mod packs, because that's what the launcher was originally created for. You can click Browse Mod Packs here, and you'll see all of the top mod packs. You can also search for mod packs up here at the top. Let's go ahead and search for a classic, RL Craft. And as you can see, right here it is. We can go ahead and click Install, and it will begin installing RL Craft. Once that's finished, you can play it, all of that stuff. But before we play RL Craft, let's talk about some other stuff that you can do in the CurseForge launcher. First things first, let's go ahead and click on the Settings button in the bottom here. You can see all of your different settings here, whether you want to exit CurseForge when you close it, hide it, all of that stuff. These are worth looking through for sure, but the thing that's really worth looking at, in my opinion, is Minecraft, game specific. Because you can come down here and set things like your default resolution if you wanted it to be 1920 by 1080 for example, you could do that. Do you want the launcher to close or keep running whenever the game starts? How much RAM do you want dedicated by default? I would recommend a lot for mod packs, at least 6 gigs usually, so you could up that there if you wanted. So much stuff you can do, preferred release, whether you want the you know recommended release of the mod pack, the beta, the alpha release for your mod packs, all of that stuff. Really, really cool and worth mentioning. But at this point, we can go ahead and go back and we can look at mods. Now, mods is very, very new in CurseForge. And so we expect some bugs for a while here. So what we can do here is find a mod we want to install. That's going to be just enough items. I would recommend not clicking the install buttons here and actually coming in here and going to versions and then finding the version you want. I want 1.20.1. So we're going to go ahead and click install there. You're going to get this prompt where you want to add it to an existing profile or create a new one. We'll create a new one. We'll call this 1.20.1 mods. And then we can go ahead and click create. Now it's going to go ahead and create basically a new mod pack. That's our mod pack with just the, you know, just enough items mod installed in it. It's kind of cool in a way that uh, you can actually kind of create your own little custom mod pack. If we go over here, we'll be able to see this is the one we just created. This is the RL craft mod pack we installed earlier. Let's add a few more mods here. We'll go ahead and grab a journey map as well. So I said click on it there, click versions, and then find the version you want. In our case, 1.20.1 Forge in this case. We're going to add it to an existing profile, the 1.20.1 mods one specifically, and it's going to add that mod to our basically mod pack here. Now, as I said, sometimes it'll be buggy and as you can see, just enough items just popped in. So if a mod's not there and it still says it's doing something, perfectly normal. Let's go ahead and grab one more mod here that I know is updated to 1.20.1, which is Twilight Forest. So we can come in here, go to versions and find the version we want and click on install. Select the profile, 
and right like so, we've got these mods installed. Really quick, really easy to kind of create your own sort of setup here. Now, if you wanted to add these to a server, you would have to add them as individual mods. The best way to do that is actually click the three dots here and then click open folder. Then you'll have a mods folder and all of your mods will be in here. You can just move these to your server. If you're on simple game hosting, just do that in the file manager, just drag and drop into the mods folder on the file manager. But nevertheless, you can now click play here. I'm actually gonna play on our mod pack though, RLCraft, the process is the same. It's going to open up the Minecraft launcher and you'll need to log into the Minecraft launcher. This is the default Minecraft launcher, the one that you're used to using if you've played vanilla Minecraft in the past or individual mods in the past. So go ahead, log in, and then once you've logged in, it will look like the normal default Minecraft launcher that you're usually using with vanilla Minecraft, for example, except it'll say RLCraft or whatever mod pack you installed here. Go ahead and click play click play again, and now Minecraft's gonna open up with the mod pack installed. Keep in mind that when launching Minecraft with a mod pack, it's gonna take a while, and it could take, I've seen it take 15, 20 minutes, depending on your computer, to launch a mod pack, so you kinda just have to sit back, relax, and uh, wait for it to open. I'll meet you on the main menu of RL Craft. Quickly open up the 1.20.1 mods as well, just to show you that's working. But at this point, you've kind of got things set up. So here we are, RL Craft is open, and uh, yeah, it looks good. It's installed. Let's go ahead and take a look at that uh, 1.21. Again, click play. Now it is worth noting, we won't have to log into the Minecraft launcher again. You've only got to do that once. Moving forward, you're already logged in, so you don't have to worry about doing it every single time. You either open the mod pack or even install a new mod pack. From here, just click play, click play again, and now Minecraft is going to open up with your mods installed. And sure enough, we can see in our mods folder just enough items, journey map, and the twilight forest. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Enjoy the Curse Forge app, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.